All right, so we're here at uh, UAF with uh, the, the awesome Chris. He's gonna install this alternator for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we're gonna do this as a group effort, but this will be the starting point. As you can see, we haven't started yet. Well, actually, I got the little uh, post clamp loosened up. That's about it. Anyway, we're gonna have to move that stuff out of the way. What you've seen this alternator before? This is the one right here. 250 Elite. Looking all nice. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, made in the USA. How much? What's the thing about that? How do you like my little nice. fuzzy dozy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's real nice. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so we're gonna get started on this. Call it back in a second. Alright, guys, so we've uh, got the alternator undone. Gonna take it out real quick. And we're gonna go in with the 250 Elite from McMahon. So out with the old. Set this one right here. Set the new one beside it. A little comparison. Might look better if I spun them around. I got some light on them. Out. There we go. Anyway, I'm going in with a new one. Holla. What we thought was going to be a simple one hour install has turned into a 3 a.m., 4 a.m. ordeal. But we do have a 250 amp Beckman alternator in this Biatch now. <laughs> and the big three fancy Chris. guys so this is a couple of days later but I wanted to show you the finished product we have the 250 amp elite series alternator in there as you can see make man got all the wiring nice and tidy thanks to Chris at UAF did the big three upgrade as you can see all nice so we are running the AVBM 2 which lets you control the voltage from the inside of the truck. So I'm going to show you how this works. So we'll come over here, get up in here, and I just have it. I haven't decided where I want to mount the controller at yet, so I just haven't had them run it, run it, run it to right here. So I'll we'll start the truck if it'll start. Okay. All right. So, you can see we're about 14.7. And I like to have mine at like 15 volts or 15 1, 15 3, something like that. So we'll start turning this up and you'll see the voltage starts climbing. This is the easiest turning the knob. This knob isn't quite as sensitive as uh, some of the ones I've played with. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Anyway. So you just, the more you turn it, the further up it goes, as you can see. Do not go this high. I'm just doing this for, oh my, I'm just doing this for video purposes. So the more you turn it up, the higher it charges. Don't ever go, I wouldn't ever go over 15.1 volts on this stuff. So just set it 15.1, set it and forget it. But anyway, I just haven't found out where I wanted to mount this set. It might do like a little fiberglass pod or something. I don't know but anyway so this is the AVBM 2 very nice and convenient you can control your voltage from inside the vehicle uh, so if you want to get anything mech man just hit me up 
there's an alternator request form on my uh, website or my web store now downforsoundshop.com you're able to request uh, like fill out the form and send it to me so I'll know uh, what alternator setup is best for you anyway appreciate it guys hope you enjoyed the install of the 250 amp McMahon elite series and the black truck and uh, just uh, like the difference on my compressor like there's no lag in it whatsoever when I before I put the mechman on here and uh, when I have my music turned up and stuff like that if it was like if I come to a red light I could I could hear the compressor bog down because when the factory alternator would like come to uh, it would be idling where it wouldn't be putting out that much power uh, that you could tell the compressor was really bogging down but with the mechman on here it doesn't bog down at all like so it just takes it like a champ but anyway that's it for the mechman 250 amp elite series install and a quick shout out to chris and ace at uaf for their help on putting it on appreciate it guys see y'all